Hello, I'm Rachel and I am here again with my dog Cherry. And at the moment I am trying to train her. So when she does the right thing, she gets herself a reward, a tasty treat that she particularly likes. So here we go. Here's my dog Cherry. Here she is. Here she is. And she really likes a stroke, don't you? You like a stroke. <laughs> yeah, you love a stroke. Right, here goes. Cherry, sit, sit, sit. <gasps> There's a good girl. There's a good girl. So when Cherry did the right thing, I gave her a reward, a treat, one of these tasty bones that she likes. But what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is not a reward for good behavior, but a gift, a gift that God gives us. Here's a gift to remind us that that's what we're talking about today. Now, this verse is from the book of Ephesians. And Ephesians is a book that Paul wrote it's a letter that he wrote to the church in Ephesus. And I'm going to look at chapter 2 and verse 8. And it goes like this. God saved us by his grace when we believed. Should we think about that as I read it again, as I say it again? God saved us by his grace when we believed. Now, what does this grace mean? What is God's grace? Well, God's grace is his generosity towards us. It is the love that he has for us. And last week we were talking about what happened the very, very first Easter. And God showed his love towards us when he died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for all the wrong things that we do. We call that sin. He died on the cross, taking the blame, the punishment for all the bad things that we do so that we can be friends with God. And so that when we die, we can live with God forever in his perfect place in heaven. And in that verse from the Bible, we are told that being saved, what Jesus did on the cross is a gift. Let's read that verse again. Let's say that verse again. And this time I'm going to do it with some actions to help us to remember it and to remind us of what it's saying. So God saved us. And what I'm going to do this action for saved, reminding us that God saved us now, making us friends with God, but forever, for all eternity, it goes on forever and ever. So God saved us by his grace, by his generosity, by his love for us when we believed when we received that gift you might want to join in with those actions and that verse with me right now god saved us by his grace when we believed when we received that gift from him one last time god saved us by his grace when we believed. My favourite song is My Lighthouse by Rand Collective. I have chosen it because it uplifts my spirit knowing that God is always there for me, even in stormy times. In my failures, you won't walk out. Reminds me that God loves me just as I am. my wrestling and in my doubts in my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea whoa you are the peace in my troubled sea in the silence 
silence you won't let go in the questions your truth will hold your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh you are the peace in my troubled sea my lighthouse my to show Thank you for your wonderful creation all around us in springtime, for the budding flowers, warm sun, and signs of new life. Pray for all those key workers supporting the nation, and especially for those who work in the NHS in such difficult times. We pray for their protection and ask that you would keep them and their families safe as they serve others. We ask that during this time of self-isolation and social distancing, you would draw near and come for all those who are lonely, especially the elder, elderly and sick. We especially pray for those who have recently lost loved ones. Thank you for the gift of your word, the Bible. We ask that for those of us spending extra time at home, we may use it wisely, getting to know you more. We pray for our friends and family who we cannot see at this time. Please bless and protect them, draw close to them and keep them safe until we see them again. Thank you, Father, that you are a God of hope. Guide all those in government to act wisely in the decisions they make over the next few weeks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My favourite song is Creation Sings by Stuart Townend. I love the way the song speaks of God's creation, singing praise to their creator God. Creation sings the Father's song. He calls the sun to wake the dawn. This song illustrates how God is in control of the universe, showcasing the wonder of his creation. <laughs> sings the Father's song. He calls the sun to wake the dawn and run the course of day till evening falls in crimson rays. His fingerprints and flakes 
soft snow His breath upon the spinning glow He charts the eagle's flight Commands the newborn baby's cry shall reign upon the earth the bitter wars that rage our birth pains of a coming age when he renews the land and sky all heaven will sing and 